Hello, Willow Davis, how's it going? Hey, listen, if you like the K's cooking reactions we do on here, you should definitely make sure you're subscribed to K's cooking. I heard she's got the two channels. She's got the old one and the new one. You know, obviously wouldn't be possible without her and Lee, so make sure uh, they're getting their views. Anyways, two new ones we're gonna check out today. Sausage and Bean Bake, which is a funny name, being that I see a non-stick pan, like what we're baking this, where's the... Where's the bake? And also small donuts, which wow, I I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna be frying these donuts or what. You ever you ever get a donut from somewhere? It turns out to just kind of be like cake matter in in the shape of a of a ring, kind of. Sometimes there's not even a hole in the middle. They just kind of like put it in like a mold. It's like a basically like a muffin that they kind of just put a little divot in or something. Anyway, I I digress. I digress. Let's check out Sausage and Bean Bake. I hope we get some quality donuts after, you know? Hi, people, and I'm back cooking oh, again. Oh, an apron and today, today. I'm going to be making a bean and sausage bake. Bean it's and sausage bake. Set on, so, on the oh, oh, it's ready to go. It's all in a can ready. To, it's already made. Yeah. Chef Boyardee. <laughs> This to it? fry these for a few minutes. How would you fry it when it's in a sauce? Just use bacon and sausages from a tin, and that's what I've got. Get out bacon and sausages from a tin? That's beans and sauce with tin. some sausage Get, in there. Do you know? I don't know what to expect here. Get. We gotta get this lady like a rubber spatula. I'm leaving that one in. I'm not gonna argue with it. Just. <laughs> and what, and a the, a bean the got away. On number five. Well, it was there's, on number three. This thing, this, there's no in. shot this is even on. Why does she always wait so long to turn the fan on? But what are we making? That, like a little a pancake here? Turn it to number six. Game time to get done. So. <laughs> Why is she I'm moving it? Why is she to, moving it? What? What's you gotta cook the other side so now? It says to do them um, for five minutes. She's chopping them up the now. Up oh, okay. So Cooked properly, and then we're gonna bake and this. I did one there. So There's no. It probably it was probably saying you get a can of sausages or something, drain them, and then like fry those. Funny. Get off. Why would you fry this? Oh, oh, I said. Oh, do you know these? Can we just uh, how about a second utensil? Really hates me. So get off now. Oh my it. God. One more. Get it. another one. Get another I don't know spatula. If you can hear it's starting to sizzle a bit. I hear it. It's frying yeah, up. I can hear it anyway. So I'm going to mush it, mush it, bush it, whatever you call it. Move it. That's it. Move it all into the middle. <laughs> so it all has a chance to do. And then we're going to give this thing a flip or what? Why I made the pastry. There's pastry involved. And it said to make puff pastry. I think it's puff pastry. Oh my God. To make... What's that, lard and pastry, margarine? Yeah. It says eight ounces of, of plain flour. Okay. Two and a half ounces of butter. Okay. And two and a half ounces of lard, which is in the bowl. Disgusting. And some salt. Well, well tiny touch of salt. And now I'm going to mix it all together and mix it all together and make pastry. Okay. Right. Uh, as you can see, I've rubbed it all and broke everything up, well, most of it. What happened? So I'm going to add some water to it. Did it say add water? Start mixing it around and trying to I guess you put it something. all together. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> is, the camera, is the camera defocus ring am I, or am I about to pass out? And all. Okay, yes, mush it together, Good. roll it out, classic so K. Now I'm making some artwork, a gingerbread I'm house. I'm going to make it that because I'm not going to put too much filling in. And then okay. well, hopefully that can fall up full. full. I know, so we still got the, the beans and sausage frying up on the stove Look over there? Over and make the big. Like you should put, make a little roof right. underneath a house. It does also a say door. that you've got to mash. The beans Mash it. and the sausages together. Mash them together. So, what the heck? I think, I think that might be done. 
What is this, baby food? Uh, I've stretched it out a bit more. Get the blender out. What on earth? So we're making a, a Pop-Tart? said to put the <laughs> mixture, not too much, it said, not too much. Nice sausage and beans Pop-Tart. And try and spread it out, but not too much. So I think, I think that might... Perfect. I think that might just need another one spoon. Oh, one spoon. One fork. <laughs> when, did, when did spoons have prongs? But yeah, one, one fork, and that is it. Now I'm going to fold it over, and okay. well, hopefully they'll all, it's all going to stay in the middle. Hope so. Make a little burrito. I'm going to show you folding it over, because it was a quick <laughs> done. So what I'm going to do now okay. is I'm going to get another fork, and I'm going to crimp the edges. Absolutely co covered in flour. And I'm going to put coating. it in the oven. It's a Pop-Tart. It's a Pop-Tart. For 20 Tart. minutes. I don't know why I did it with my... Kay has made an empanada. Fingers. But I'm going to put it in the oven for 20 minutes. And Well, first of all, I'm going to put it in for 10. Then I can keep checking it on every 10. Oh, and okay. And see how it's uh, going to do. Let's see. Right, as you can see... It I'm going to have to make this one. It did actually fall apart. I know, I say it a tray, lot. Which I should have made it on the tray. So now I'm oh, going to... Oh, it fell apart when you moved it. Egg wash it, egg wipe it's, it, whatever you you're call egg it. egg washing it, but it's covered in, in loose flour. The egg, egg, I think, yeah, it's egg wash. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll put pens here. Okay. Egg all right, yeah. It. Oh, wow. We're having a whole omelet on top of this, huh? It, you can see it's all fall, starting to fall apart. All the paste is starting to come apart. You're getting a whole layer anyway, egg on there. So I think that's done. So I was, like I said, I'm going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to, well, keep checking on it every 10 minutes. And that oh, I'm is making the end this. product oh, I'm making of the this. bean and sausage bake. Oh, this looks great. And here is the taste test. Oh, I'm going to be having this. Let me tell you. Right. Oh, so my God. You guys always get me with that oh, one. Taste you test. always get I'm me with that one. To this. I'll admit it. He's right. So, for the taste test, I'm not looking forward He's to He's not it. looking forward to it. It's... it's <laughs> It's it's some lovely sausage and beans in a in a puff pastry. What could go wrongly? This it. What do you not like about this? Needs some cheese on it or what? Whoa, here we go. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it. What the heck? He's he's giving it a face. Pastry with bone dry. Is it pastry is bone dry? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Too much flour. Too much flour. <laughs> oh, someone's getting some text. It's really dry. <laughs> it's really dry. <laughs> pastry's really dry. Need some cheese on it. But apart from pastry being really dry, <laughs> it's dry, but the pastry is like, you know, it's hard to walk, but it's dry. Mm. You can't get past it. Give this guy a glass of milk. It's like that. Mm. But apart <laughs> from that, thumbs up. Oh my god. Well, like Lee said, pastry's <laughs> dry. I always think pastry's dry anyway. Uh, it's not wet, am I right? So there's going to be a link in the description to my mate. Kay hates pastry. I don't know why she keeps making it. Merchandise. If you like what you see, please keep viewing me. <laughs> Maybe it's because you add so much flour onto the table when you go to work it. <laughs> that thing looked good. I don't know. I don't know what Lee's talking about. I'm. I'm certainly gonna be having this for myself. All it is. Can I just replace the lard with just like some shortening or something? That would be great. It's like it's like an English breakfast thing, but like all in one convenient pocket to take on the go. What could go wrong? Anyway, hope you, hope you're still, still ready for some donuts. You saved some room there. Small. Donuts. Let's see. Kay, I, they, I I better see these getting fried up in a vat of oil or something. I'm, back I'm not. I want those cake donuts. I want those fried and donuts. Again. And today I'm going to be having a go at doing donuts. As you can see, I've got a Hope pound. These better be getting a vanilla glaze or something. Power in there. Uh, that is strong bread flour. Oh, extra now, gluten in that flour. I'm adding. The sugar, okay. which is 60 grams, I think that's about 3 ounces, I'm not 100% sure. Okay, maybe I'll have to make this too. Uh, let me have a look at my list because I've got it all down. Mix the flour and the sugar and the yeast. And the yes, yeast. Yes, my yeast. Okay. Now it does say one and a half 
teaspoons of this. Is that a can of yeast? I don't know how I'm going to get the half, but it comes. It comes over here. It comes either in a little 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 packet or uh, a jar, usually. Not a can. So I have not seen it in a can. How do you preserve that you see for that? later one. use? It's a lot of yeast. And I think that's about half. I'm not hundred percent, but anyway, yes. That's so. That's that. Okay. And then it says, what does it say? I've got to mix them together. There's not a lot of yeast. When it's I always, like it. I mean, I, I don't always mix dry ingredients together, but it's always a good idea. So of course it is. Together. Of course it is. I think Let's I might do what have it to says. change to something like a whatever, whatever that old recipe cocoa. says. Even, even the whisk. I might even get the whisk out. The whisk, so, even. Wow, this yes. is a big production. So I think that that's all mixed in. I can't see any yeast or any sugar. Okay. So Scrape I think the sides that's now. All mixed in. Scrape the sides. So next time you see me, I'll have my whisk. Now oh wow! Oh, oh, that's that's more than a whisk. Mix it round. That's an electric an uh, mixer right around. there. Little by little. This hasn't got a lower setting. Only problem, it doesn't say how much milk to add. So I'm just going to add just half of it. Doesn't say? What, what, let me see this recipe, Kay. And add the rest of it, which will be... Add milk to taste, or what? This thing got a lower setting? Mm -hmm. This thing got a lower setting on it, Kay? It's uh. the thing up. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god! Leave that into the flour. You're pulverizing and that's it. That's what I'm going to keep doing with each. Oh my, oh. Each segment. As you can see, they need to pick <laughs> you, it up. You brutalized it. And that's what's going to happen. That poor butter. With the rest of it. As you can see, I've What cracked. is going on? What is that butter? That's. Okay. Alright, you know what? Go on. Two eggs. Now another one. It does say three eggs. Four, but it's going to be three. No, it's going to be four. So there's just what? another one. Last one to crack. Eggs to taste. <laughs> to your preference. And as you know, I am shocking. What's going on with the, the cracking eggs? The the butter boulders around the sides there. I thought that were an eggshell. I feel it's like she's going to turn the mix that one see so it's get the egg out yes it is I, I feel like she's gonna turn the mixer on it's gonna completely blast out of this bowl thank you to the person who told me how to get eggshells out thank you very much what'd they say because now i've started doing it every time i get a shell in you use so the eggshell to take the eggshell out give it another mix what's that little thing floating in there uh, probably isn't it. ah you'll live and hopefully, I'm gonna be so disappointed if, this, if these are like the like cake donuts. Now, with this, it does say you can fry in the frying pan. Please. Which? Please. How are you doing? Yes. As it's called. Yes. Shallow frying. Yes. So this is getting a bit That's hard. That's what so I, I wanted. Start using my hands. You're going to start using your hands. Make sure you turn the mixer off. But now it's got to the door stage and it needs That's to be covered lumpy. and left to, re to rise. So it says put a tea towel over it and let it rise. I don't know. You kind of beat the right. crap out of the that yeast. Is, is it still bit. in there? Um, I am oh, I think, put you, I think you need a, a little bit of a bigger pan than that. Maybe a little more oil. I, what do I know? I've never made these, but... Oh. One in the frying pan. Just. That's one there. Just like that, eh? And what I'm doing is I'm rolling them up in a bowl and then I'm flattening them. So. Okay. That's. We're going to well, fill these suckers? Doing. As you can see, I've done the. Oh, look, this one's got a hole in it. <laughs> a flat one and one with a hole in. You know, I. Right, uh, to cook for three minutes. What happened to the yeast? In it. The yeast didn't want to show up today? And turn over. Oh. 
Well, I think they will need to What over happened? Where's the ease? To get the other side done. Why isn't it puffing up? But, well, yeah, that's starting to be. Oh my donuts. god. As you can see, that is the end Whoa. product. I know it don't look like a proper donut, but it's a homemade one. The yeast is dead. And here it has died. comes the taste test. There's no puff at all to that. Can we get like some kind of icing or something on this? Some kind of glaze? Can we get anything? And now for the taste test. Some sugar and cinnamon. I think that one might. I be thought I was about to hear a crunch. Bit burnt that bit. That other bit. More like a cookie than a donut. More like a cookie. But it's small enough to be a cookie. But that's the burnt bit you've got. Oh, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Mine because it's a bit crunchy. Mm. It's crunchy. It's a crunchy donut. I just, I just, I just heard it click when it hit the hit the plate. Mm. It's not soft enough to be a donut, but it's more like homemade cookie taste, if you get what I mean. Mm. Okay. But it's nice. Thumbs up. It's nice. Okay. Right, Lee said it was nice. I wonder what oh, happened. He said something about it being nice anyway. Um, <laughs> so uh, he said it's a bit crunchy. Yes, it's it's. He says it's like a a cookie, but c probably because I made it flat instead of making it bunched up like you get your normal donuts. But I mean, bunched I up. think for the first attempt, I think that's quite good actually. So there's hey, going to be edible, a link looking. in the description to my merchandise. Very interesting, very interesting. Crispy K's? Forget Krispy Kreme, we got Krispy K. <laughs> I mean, hey, the Krispy's in the name, so maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe K made the actual donuts and everyone else is just trying to replicate. Yeah, you know, I was going to say, usually if I'm going to use yeast, yeast with something, I'll kind of do like the, the proof it or whatever, whatever that's called, like get the, make, make sure the yeast actually works before you put it in there. Well, there you go. Great success with both of these. And I'm not kidding, by the way, I want to make that... <laughs> That sausage bean bake, whatever, I don't know, what, what's another name for that? It was like a little, I don't know, a little pot pie or something, really. A pocket. It was a hot pocket. She made a hot pocket. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. That's literally, literally what she made was just a, a sausage and bean hot pocket. Great. Well, anyway, what'd you think of that? Let me know. Should I try, should I try making some of these here? Let me know down in the comments. And other than that, I'll see you next time. Willow Davis, out.